Welcome back to Scouching's 2024 Prospect Pipeline series, and what we're going to be doing today is looking at the Florida Panthers Prospect Pipeline, grouping their players into overall tiers, and just see how things look going into a new NHL season. But before we do, we're going to need to define what a prospect is and what these tiers mean. A prospect is a player that's within five years of their first year of draft eligibility, and they haven't been on an NHL roster for more than a season. And in terms of the tiers, we start at franchise level, which are players that you never ever move. They are iconic players to your franchise and you just don't trade them. You also have your core tier, which are really good players that can play with those types of players and really round things out. Think Nicholas Backstrom to Alex Ovechkin. Then you've got your depth category, which are players that round out your roster in general, second, third, fourth line role players in some way that can play 82 games and not look out of place and you like having them around. And then you go to your maybe section, which are players that might have a lot of upside, but some question marks or maybe not a lot of upside and might not quite get to the NHL at some point for one reason or another, but it's possible. And for Florida, we start in the depth category and right off the bat, the player they drafted in the second round this year is Linus Erickson. And I'm a really big fan of Linus Erickson. I think a middle six job in the NHL is not out of the question. He's very, very smart. He got a lot better over the course of last season the more he played against men. He's gonna play some big minutes this year, and I'm really excited to watch him. I think Justin Sordiff might be a little bit optimistic for this group, but I do think a depth job, just being a crash and bang guy around the ice, is not out of the question. I'm interested in what he can bring to the table. He probably rides the line between a depth and a maybe at this point, but I am curious about what he can do in the NHL if he gets there. Mackie Samuskevich and Grayson Sachin are super high-skill players that I think could have a role in the top nine of the Florida Panthers in the future. Mackie Samuskevich got a cup of coffee last year with the team and looked fine, and I think an interesting thing will be to see how he plays this season, wherever that might be, but he does have the skill level to carve out some kind of role in the NHL. Down in the maybes category, there are also some interesting players down here for me as well. I like Ludwig Johnson and always have. I'm really curious about Josh Davies' offensive upside. Matt Sheravin, I think, has a lot of potential as a maybe bottom end of your lineup defenseman, but I think has a ways to go with his hockey sense, but if he gets there, he could be an interesting one. I think Gerald Gerasimyuk and Denis Gabrachtimov and Net could be interesting long-term projects who just continuously save puck after puck after puck whenever they play. So we'll see what happens with them. I think a guy like Stepan Gorbanov is another interesting one in this tier. He's got a lot of skill, but he's very lanky and tall and quite young and raw overall. So we'll see what happens with him, but I've been intrigued. And down at the everybody else tier, you have everybody else. There's a bunch of these guys who are on the older side of things and statistically might just not look like NHL players anytime, but it's not impossible. There are a few here that maybe I could see some kind of NHL role in the future. Guys like Merrick Alisher, Sandusville Manis, maybe Evan Naus, all could maybe fill a role somewhere. Michael Benning has been an interesting player when I saw him with Charlotte here and there over the course of last year, and we'll see if anything pops here. It's not impossible, but these are just guys that I think statistically have a bit of a ways to go. And that covers the Florida Panthers, nice and quick. If you liked the video, you can like it and subscribe to the channel and you'll never miss another one. If you really liked it, you could go to our website, scouching.ca, where a subscription gets you access to exclusive written content, data tables you won't find anywhere else for drafted and undrafted prospects, a Discord server, and plenty of other cool stuff that you can check out there. So with that, we are done with the Florida Panthers, and tomorrow we're going to have a look at the Winnipeg Jets.